Assalamu alaikum. Today we do Harful Alif. It's the first letter in the Arabic language. Harful Alif. Harful Alif. It has two parts. Al Hamzatu wal Alif. How? When we say Al Alif, we either refer to, refer to this one or the last one. And when we say Hamza, we mean the one in here in, in the middle. So this is Alif, this is Alif, and this is Hamza. So, but what is the difference between the first and the last one? This one is pronounced A. a. This one is vowel. When it comes vowel, it's not pronounced. Kitab. We don't say kitab. No, we say kitab just to show that there is mid after a there is mid kitab. But if somebody say al alif, the first thing that has to come to your mind is the first one. So when we say the first letter in the Arabic language is al alif. We refer to this one, but this one is Alif too. It little bit, it's a uh, confusing, but I'm going to show you the difference. So, what is the difference between Al Hamza and Al Alif? First, there are two types of Al Hamza. Al Hamza to Qatain, Al Hamza to Waslin. Al Hamza to Qatain is written and pronounced. Here, it's written A, A, Akela. Insan. Here, Al Hamza comes on top of Al Alif because it's either Mansuba or Marfu'a. Here, when it comes Majrura, we put Al Hamza below. So, Akala Insanum. It's written and pronounced Akala Insanum. Hamza to whistling. On the other hand, it's pronounced only when it comes at the beginning, like Iqra. 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 Don't get confused. You think this is Al Alif, I mean Al Mid. This is a vowel. A vowel never comes at the beginning. This is the rule. A vowel in Arabic never comes at the beginning. So if you see this one here at the beginning, you know this is Hamza to Waslin. And this is the only place when it's pronounced Hamza to Waslin. Iqra. But when Hamza to Waslin comes in the middle, it's not pronounced. Example, Faktub. You see Faktub, we don't pronounce, we don't see Faktub, 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 we pronounce al fa then al kaf Hamza to wasl here in between, we don't pronounce Hamza to wasl. But there is something, it helps you to know whether it's Hamza to wasl or not. You see the small sign here, the sign on top of Al Alif? That shows you that this is Hamza to Waslin. Faktub. Faktub. So now you know the difference that, that the Hamza to. Al Hamza has two types Hamza to Qtain and Hamza to Waslin. Now we do Al Alif, Al Mid. What we call Al Mid, which is a vowel. We never pronounce a vowel in Arabic. Al Mid Kitabun comes medial here. Kitabun. Here comes final. Al Mid never comes, in general, a vowel never comes at the beginning, whether it was Alif or Waw or Ya. Because in Arabic there are three vowels Al Alif, Al Waw, Al Ya. So here, it comes medial 
and here comes final but there are two ways to write al alif al mid when it comes final either alif mamduda like here asa or alif maqsura masha you see this one is called al alif mamduda and this one is called al alif maqsura so let's do let's summarize what we already did when you hear al alif it should comes to your mind this one or this one the only difference this is a vowel it's not pronounced it doesn't come at the beginning when we say al hamza we refer to this one here al hamza also can be written on top of al waw al ya or on the line let's give you example فؤاد شيء سماء You see here فؤاد الهمزة comes on top of الواو شيء الهمزة comes on top of الياء and the last one سماء it comes on the line I think I cover everything concerning the first letter in the Arabic language which is Al Alif it's a little bit confusing uh, why because some Arabic scholars they consider Arabic alphabet to be 29 letters that's why they take Al Hamza as one letter and Al Mid as one and for those who consider Arabic alphabet to be 28 letters they take Al Hamza on top of Al Mid as one letter which is Al Alif that's all for today feel free to ask any questions Thank you for watching. This is Ibrahim from quickarabic.com. Assalamu alaikum.